Chinese researchers recently unveiled an ancient skull that could belong to a completely new species in the human evolution chain. The researchers claim that the new discovery is our closest evolutionary relative among the generally known species of ancient humans, such as Neanderthals and Homo erectus. Nicknamed Dragon Man, the specimen represents a group of humans that lived in East Asia at least 146,000 years ago. It was originally found at Harbin, northeast China in 1933, but only drew more attention to scientists recently. An analysis of the skull has been published in the Innovation Journal, one of the UK's leading experts in human evolution. Professor Chris Stringer from London's Natural History Museum was a member of the research team. He said in an interview, In terms of fossils in the last million years, this is one of the most important yet discovered. What you have here is a separate branch of humanity that is not on its way to becoming Homo sapiens, our species, but represents a long separate lineage which evolved in the region for several hundred thousand years and eventually went extinct. The researchers say the discovery has the potential to rewrite the story of human evolution, with supporting analysis to suggest that it is more closely related to Homo sapiens than it is to Neanderthals. They have assigned this specimen to a new species, Homo longi, from the Chinese word long, meaning dragon. A professor at the Chinese Academy of Sciences said with such gusto, we found our long-lost sister lineage. I said, oh my gosh, I could not believe that it was so well preserved. You can see all the details. It is a really amazing find. The skull is huge compared with the average skulls belonging to other human species, but its brain case suggested that it was comparable in size to those from our species. Dragon Man had large, almost square eye sockets thick brow ridges, a wide mouth, and oversized teeth. Professor Kang Ji from Hebei GEO University says it is one of the most complete early human skull fossils ever discovered. It has a mosaic combination of primitive and more modern features, selling itself apart from all the other species of human. The researchers believe that Dragon Man was powerfully built and rugged. However, little is known about how he lived because his skull was removed from the site in which it was found. This means that there is currently no archaeological context, such as stone tools or other elements of culture to link with Dragon Man. Back in 1933, when a construction worker helped to build a bridge on the Songhua River running through Harbin in Heilongjiang Province, which translates means Black Dragon River, they found the skull and gave it the traditional name of where it was found. The city was under Japanese occupation at the time. Suspecting its cultural value, the Chinese worker smuggled it home to keep it out of the hands of occupiers. He hid it at the bottom of his family's well, where it remained for around 80 years. The man told his family about the skull before he died, which is how it eventually got into the hands of scientists. The researchers claim the form of an ancient human on the far left may have evolved into the relatively modern dragon man on the far right over millions of years and it automatically joins a number of early human remains uncovered in China that have proven difficult to categorize. These include remains from Dali, Jinishuan, Wanglongdong, and the Jiahe jawbone from the Tibetan Plateau. There has been a fierce debate about whether these remains represent primitive examples of Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, a human group called the Denisovans, or something else entirely. The Denisovans were first identified from DNA retrieved from a 50,000 to 30,000 year old finger bone discovered in Denisova Cave, Russia. Because the remains associated with this sister lineage to the Neanderthals were so fragmentary, the group has been described as a genome in search of a fossil record. Professor Marta Mirazon Lar from the University of Cambridge believes that Dragomen was, in fact, a Denisovan. She noted, The Denisovans are this fascinating mystery population from the past. There is a suggestion from DNA evidence that the jawbone found in the Tibetan Plateau might be Denisovan, and now because the jawbone from Tibet and Dragon Man look like each other, now we might actually have the first face of the Denisovan. And a group that recently published details of remains from Israel belonging to a possible precursor species to the Neanderthals believe Dragon Man might be descended from humans that first emerged in the Levant region. Meanwhile, the Chinese researchers maintain that the hard-to-classify fossils from East Asia represent the gradual evolution of a new species. Professor Ni has a gracious response to those that disagree with this assessment. The results will spark a lot of debate, and I am quite sure that a lot of people will disagree with us, but that is science and it is because we disagree that science progresses. Do you think there are more species in the human evolution trail that are yet to be discovered? 
like and share the video with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell immediately after so you get more exciting discoveries at once as we upload them.